Hello, hola, ni hao, bonjour, greetings in whichever language you prefer. I'm John Mayberry, and I will be your host for this Math 37 experience during the spring 2021 semester at University of the Pacific. The purpose of this short introductory video is to show you a little bit about the course format and also how to navigate Canvas to increase your likelihood of success in this course. As you open up the Canvas website, you'll see a home page which includes a brief introduction to the course, includes a brief outline of the course format, as well as a number of other useful links to modules and other material that you might need access regularly throughout the semester. To begin, I want to point out that there are actually two paths for taking this course. There's an asynchronous path in which you're able to watch recordings of live Zoom meetings at your leisure. You're able to complete part participation quizzes and other group work activities anytime between lectures in your own time. You'll post questions on discussion boards, attend office hours, email me questions, and then complete any other relevant assignments in the course, such as semi-weekly Canvas quizzes, module lab assignments, and midterm examinations on your own time. There's also a synchronous path for those who like the collaborative atmosphere of live meetings. For people choosing this path, you'll be attending live Zoom meetings every Tuesday or Thursday, depending on the section you have signed up for. You'll be completing those participation quizzes and group work activities in those live meetings. And then you'll also be proceeding to all of the online activities, posting questions, completing other assignments as needed in between class periods. To start your journey through the course, I recommend familiarizing yourself with the course syllabus. After you've read through the course syllabus, return to the course homepage and scroll down until you see the module links in the middle of the page. We're going to be starting this course, as you might expect, at Module 1. If you click on this link, it will bring you to a list of all the items that have been posted so far in Module 1. You'll also see that these items will be organized into weekly checklists to help you better track the expectations as we go through the semester. If you click on Week 1, you'll see a list here of several items, and I wanted to make a few comments on this before closing out this video. First, all of the PowerPoint slides for the lectures will be posted in a SharePoint folder. To access these slides, simply click on this link. You may have to log in to your Pacific SharePoint OneDrive account, but once you've done the, you should have a record of them all so far. At the start of a lecture, please open up the slides and save your own copy that you may take notes on as we go. You'll also notice that there's other activities which will be posted in here. For example, during the first day, there are a number of activities which you'll be expected to complete, including an In This Class I Hope Padlet, which we'll be doing at the beginning of our first class meeting, a course preferences survey, which I'll need as soon as possible, really, so I can kind of plan for the rest of the semester, a participation poll, which will again be taken in the first day of classes, a Google survey, which will present some data that we'll be using throughout the semester, and a short activity which makes sure that you can download and use R for future purposes. This is also where we'll be posting the bi-weekly quizzes or semi-weekly quizzes if you prefer, as well as any group works and lab assignments which might be due on a particular week. Returning to the Home tab, I wanted to point out another important link that we'll be using frequently throughout the semester, and that's the link to access the Zoom live sessions and recordings. You can access these sessions either by clicking on the Zoom tab on the side of the Canvas page, or by scrolling down and clicking on the Live Meetings and Recordings links at the bottom of the page. Once you get to this page, you'll notice that all the meetings for the semester are listed out based on the section. If you're enrolled in Section 2, which meets at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays Pacific Standard Time, please click on the Section 2 link for the date on which you'd like to attend. If you're enrolled in Section 4, which meets at 3 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays Pacific Standard Time, then click on that link. Try to arrive at the Zoom meetings about five minutes ahead of time in case you have any difficulties. Also, please make sure that you are logging in with your authenticated Pacific Zoom account. If you're not sure what that means or haven't set that up before, there's more information about that in the syllabus as well. A couple other housekeeping techniques. When you first log on to a meeting, you will be muted. You're, you can feel free to unmute yourself at any time if you have a comment or something to say, but otherwise it's probably best to stay unmuted for the most of the lecture. I also appreciate it if those who have cameras could leave them on as much as possible. It gets a little discouraging to lecture to a bunch of blank screens after a while. If you don't have a camera or you don't feel comfortable leaving it on, then perhaps a picture of you so I can at least attach a face to your name would be helpful. Other than that, I hope that you'll enjoy attending those live sessions and participating in them through questions, polls, and also occasional breakout rooms with groups. 
If you're not attending the live meetings, then, or you just want to access the cloud recordings to review the course material, you can do so through the cloud recordings tab on that same site. When you click on the lecture for a particular day, then it'll bring you to a new tab where there'll be two files. One is a transcript and one is a video file. If you click on download the video, it will confusingly take you to a new tab. Notice that it requires a passcode. However, you may also have noticed that before leaving that tab, it said passcode passed to clip, pasted to clipboard. So if you go to this and just press control V or whatever the equivalent command is on your Mac to paste it, then you should be able to access the recording for that day's class. Before we close out this video, I wanted to make a few other comments about due dates for assignments. All of the assignments will have two due dates attached to them. The first date is the official due date, which is the suggested due date for all of these assignments. However, because this is the year of COVID and, well, let's face it, stuff does happen, all of them will also have a second required due date, which gives you a little leniency on when you can turn in assignments. Both the suggested and the lenient due dates will always be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This particular assignment, you'll notice, is due on Thursday, January 14th at 10 a.m. Therefore, its extension is Tuesday, January 19th at 10 a.m. In contrast, if we return to the Module Week 1 Checklist tab, and we look at the Lab 1 Intro to R assignment, then this assignment has a suggested due date of Tuesday, January 19th, and a required due date of Thursday, January 21st. For all of our sanities, I would suggest you keep try and keep to these due dates, but also allow yourself that grace and flexibility to submit before this one if needed for no additional penalty. After the second due date, no late assignments will be submitted because we do need to make sure that these things get graded in time. We'll be giving you more information during our first day of class, but I'm looking forward to meeting all of you virtually. I have high expectations that even though we're meeting from a distance, we can still build some good classroom community, have some good discussions around statistics, and get to know each other in this virtual format. Hope you all have a great last weekend of break. Hope that doesn't sound too ominous, and I'll see you all on Tuesday.